So maybe you've become convinced that you should be using cotton watercolor paper in your daily art practice, but you're a little concerned about how expensive that paper can be. Maybe you've also found that you paint more hesitantly or uh, maybe timidly when you're using expensive paper. That thought keeps coming through your head. This paper is so expensive. I don't want to make a mistake. Well, that kind of thinking can never result in free, expressive, or dynamic paintings. I have found a solution to that dilemma that I want to share with you in the video today. Let's get started. Welcome to my studio. My name is Chris. This channel is all about tips, tools, and tutorials for growing in watercolor. If you've found that the cost of your watercolor supplies, especially the paper, is creating a barrier to your uninhibited painting, then I want to offer a simple solution. Use a student grade paper that is 100% cotton. If you watch my free online course, Getting Started in Watercolor, you know that I believe you should paint on 100% cotton paper. Cotton paper has a bunch of qualities that make it superior to cellulose paper for watercolor artists of all levels. If you want access to that free course, I'll put the link in the description below. Now I usually paint on artist grade or professional grade paper. I find I get the best results with this kind of quality paper. But I also do a lot of value studies, practice paintings, warm-up exercises, or other paintings where I don't necessarily want to use my best paper. What do I do in those situations? Well, I choose to use a student-grade paper that I have found that is 100% cotton. Now, most student-grade papers are either 100% cellulose, which is wood pulp, or mostly made with cellulose. They're usually not 100% cotton. So while they're a more affordable option, they can't give you the same experience as 100% as cotton paper. A few years ago, I discovered Bahong watercolor paper. In addition to their artist-grade paper, Bahong also makes a student-grade paper. They call it their academy grade. And the most important thing about it is that it's 100% cotton. And I'll have to say, it is somewhat rare to find an affordable student-grade paper that is 100% cotton. Bahong Academy Grade can be purchased in sheets like what I have here. It can also be purchased in blocks or pads. Again, more about those different formats and which one I prefer in my online course. Now, it is important to know that these sheets are sold in a half sheet size, not full sheet. A full sheet is a traditional 30 inch by 22 inch. These sheets are just 15 by 22 inches. Uh, about 15 by 22 inches. So keep that in mind when you're comparing prices with full sheet paper. However, I find that this half sheet is a perfect size. I can cut them down to a quarter size here, as you see here, or even smaller size. The paper comes in all three textures, hot press, which they call fine grain, or cold press, which they call medium grain, and rough grain, which they call rough. When I compare the Academy grade to the Bahong Artist grade, I can hardly feel a difference. The grains are similar. The response to washes and different brush techniques is also very similar. So if you're looking for a way to stretch your watercolor budget and you're looking for an affordable 100% cotton paper, student grade paper, I'm not sure you could find a better choice than this Bahong student grade. I have found the paper available on a variety of online stores, Amazon.com, JacksonArt.com, KDSArtStore.com, which is out of India, AliExpress, which is out of China, Opus Art Supplies in Canada. I can even find it on eBay and Etsy. You'll find it all over the place online. I purchased my paper from Amazon and I can vouch for their prices and their customer service. However, if Amazon doesn't work for you, or if you're in another part of the world, I encourage you to find a reputable source where you are. You might also want to check with your local art store and see if they can get it for you. So that's it. My recommendation for a quality 100% cotton paper that won't break your budget. My encouragement to you is to find a paper that you love and then stick with it for a while before buying something else. A change in the paper can really affect the results that we get in our paintings. 
and it's wise, with watercolor especially, to control the variables as much as possible. One more thing, I've mentioned my free online course, Getting Started in Watercolor. This course is designed for those fairly new to watercolor who are feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all the options out there in watercolor supplies and materials. In the course, I cover watercolor paper, brushes, paints, and palettes. I also show you how I set up my creative space. I made this course to answer all the questions that I had when I first started painting in watercolor. I hope it's a blessing to you. Please check it out on my website, studio.chrisdebruin.com, and I'll also leave that link in the description below. Well, I need to bring this video to an end. I need to gather up all my supplies and start painting. I hope you can do the same today. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.